Hey YouTube, this is Raj, and today we're going to look at how to get white foxes in Minecraft. Yes, you heard me right. Not just red foxes, but there are also white foxes in Minecraft. And what this video is going to be about is how to find them and how to tame them and trust you. So, let's get started. So the first thing we should get into is where to find white foxes. Now, with red foxes in Minecraft, you can find them in the Tega biome and all of its variants. Well, the white fox is basically the polar opposite, so it shows up in snowy Tega. Now, this is a rare biome, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to find a Tega biome if it's not very obvious or you don't want to wander around and try to find it. Okay, so if you want to look for a biome, the easiest site I find is Chunk Base. So if you go to Apps here, and then you go to Biome Finder, and then you just hit in what your seed is, so it finds the biomes, and then you type in, you filter the biomes, and you put in which ones you want. So you would want Snowy Taiga, Snowy Tega Hills and Snowy Tega Mountains. And if you look, you have to zoom out a bit. But you can see there's a bunch up here. There's some over here, some over here, and it'll give you coordinates so that you can walk to the closest one. So the closest one would be this one. Uh, negative 660 and negative 823. So that should help you find the tag uh, unless you want to look for it. So before we get into the whole taming and trusting of uh, white foxes, we have to go into a couple things about their behavior because there's some key things you need to know before you get to that. So the first thing to know is that white foxes startle very easily. So if you're just trying to walk up to one, they'll run away. The easiest thing to do is to just crouch towards them because then they'll uh, then you can usually corral them into what you need to do. Also, they sleep during the day. So if you're looking for them and you're having issues, the best spot to look is under trees because they usually look for somewhere where there's less light. And it's also a bad idea to do this at night because uh, foxes are a lot more active so at, at day at least they're like sleeping so you might be able to sneak up on them also they're usually prey on uh, chickens and rabbits so they'll like just dart towards those animals so if you're not careful uh, while you're trying to get them they'll just like jump and run so you don't want like uh, a, an enclosure where they're too close like chickens and rabbits so just be careful about that and also be very careful about wolves because wolves will attack foxes so if you're trying to you know have them on leads or leading them somewhere uh, a wolf can like come out of nowhere and just like obliterate both of them so you have to be very careful about wolves I would just suggest like killing any wolves you see while you're in the snowy taiga because it can it, it could be a bad result if they attack you Okay, so now let's get on to um, the best ways to corral them. So the best thing to do is to put them in an enclosure. So put maybe two or three high and put them in there. You can put wild foxes on leads so you can lead them in there. You can also put them in boats. So this is basically one of the oldest tricks in Minecraft. If you, you can get any animal into a boat and then you can just row across land and then you can use pistons to push it up, push up the boat until you get to the right height, get the boat into the enclosure, and then you can break the boat. So that's the easiest way to corral them into one area with with leads, boats, and uh, just waiting while they're sleeping and then building an enclosure around them. So we should probably talk about how to tame uh, foxes. I uh, The word tame is not a good word to use in this situation. It's actually trust is the right word. So it's similar to how uh, wolves are and cats are. So basically wild foxes cannot trust you at all. So you have to do what you have to do is you have to get two wild foxes to breed and how you get them to breed is you have to get sweet berries. So 
once you get them to breed, that baby fox that they produce will trust you. And one thing to really consider in this whole thing when you're planning it out is that if you startle the adult fox and the baby is nearby, it'll startle the baby fox. So what you want to do is make sure that they're enclosed so that if you're trying to wrangle them, they won't escape. And once you have the, the baby fox, then you can just put a lead on it and lead it back to where you want to go. And it'll trust you and you'll have it all tamed. And the last thing to really consider about this whole equation is that if you have one white fox and you have red foxes, if you try to breed those together, there's a 50% chance they'll either be red or white. So I hope that helps you guys get some white foxes. And uh, now when your friends are talking about how they got red foxes and they got this cool new thing, you can be like, well... That's too bad because uh, I got some white foxes and the, your buddy will be like, what? There's white foxes. And you'll be like, yeah, I got white foxes. And they'll be like, mind blown. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, if you like my video, give me a like. If you uh, want me to keep producing content, uh, give me a subscribe. I love to hear comments about what content you guys want me to produce. And uh, stay classy, YouTube. This is Rock.